when I go to the grocery store and I'm looking for a lemon, I'm looking for one that has a little bit more give to it. It's got a bit of a thinner skin, something with a lot of juice. So we're just gonna do a quick sweet preservation of the lemons. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not really, I'm not big on sweets and dessert. Does that make sense? Lemons sort of refresh your palate. I prefer something more tart and refreshing at the end of a meal. And I've chosen a smaller, thin-skinned, more plump, more full of juice variety. It's a little bit heavier, a little bit more plump. Um, the next thing I'm looking for is something that's bright yellow in color. This, which you see, has a little bit of a green tinge to it. That tells me it's not quite ripe enough. The larger lemons with uh, thicker rind, uh, thicker pith, have more seeds in them. I'm also looking for something that has a bit of a thinner skin because it's going to uh, produce more oil when I zest it and that's where all the flavor is. I'm going to go ahead and slice them very thin. And the reason I'm slicing them thin is because we want to be able to eat the entire thing including the pith, the zest and the pulp. Lemon slices. Lemons are uh, tart, acidic, refreshing. We're going to slowly cook them down with sugar, caramelize them. You have to sort of think about what you're doing with your lemons. Lemons uh, aren't used just for a lemon-flavored dessert. They're used probably more so for enhancing the flavor or balancing the flavor of whatever it is that we're cooking. These are a great tool to extract the oil or a little bit of zest from the lemon. So when I'm zesting the lemon, all I'm doing is taking the, the zest, so the more oil in the zest, the better. And you can sometimes see the oil spray when you zest uh, your lemon. I'm going to turn it down to sort of medium low and cover it with what's called a cartouche. <laughs> so this is my cartouche. So you'll see I cut a hole in the center to allow some steam out. Low, slow, long and you get the best flavor, more juice, more caramelization. Okay, so you can see we have a sugar syrup. The lemons look a little bit more translucent. Okay, so the color and consistency that we're looking for in our preserved lemon when they're finished is sort of a, a dark amber syrup. Dump it out onto your cutting board. And just give it a rough chop through. If you wanted, you could take uh, it as far as this step here and keep this in the fridge and use it for um, toast as a marmalade or on scones or use it on pancakes, um, tea cakes, anything like that. It's sort of a, you've really, you've got a, a preserve here at this point. First thing that pops into my mind when I think about lemons is limoncello. 